happy birthday as well. You always find the latest courtyard. And in solution, hey, in out of the box. Hello and welcome to Radio Waves by Todd Herbert. If you enjoy reviews, comparisons, fan scans of new and classic portable radios, then make sure to subscribe and tap the bell icon so you don't miss any of my most awesome videos. In front of us with the Prunus J15, this is an AM FM shortwave portable radio, and tonight I'm going to perform an evening medium wave band scan. We'll go over features of the radio, we'll do a size comparison, and we'll start cruising the evening band. So let's check it out, the Prunus J15. A really cool small shortwave AM FM portable that you can pick up for around $25 to $28. Definitely worth it when you see the options it has. So picking up the radio to the left hand side, you notice we have a three LED flashlight built in for emergency use. Gotta like that. Got this cool gunmetal color with the silver treatment. Nice accents. It's got that modern radio look to it. Uh, we have a tuning indicator. Turns green, of course, when it's in tune. We have a nice speaker here. You can see I like this slotted design. Up here we have a wheel for the volume on-off control. Show that. There you go. And the dial, you'll notice is FF on top. It's uh, 87 to 108. You get your medium wave or AM 520 to 1710, so full range. And shortwave, you'll notice on shortwave 1, we have 3.2 megahertz to 10. And shortwave 2, we have 10 megahertz to 22 megahertz. Down here, we have an on-off switch for the light. It, it's just enough to see in the dark. It's not bad. Be cool if it had a dial light. It does not. Uh, here we have a band select switch, FM, AM, shortwave 1, shortwave 2. Very simple controls. I really like that with this radio. Right hand side, we have headphone jack. We have auxiliary in, so you can actually put an MP3 player. Here we have a tuning knob. This tuning knob is coarse tuning and fine tuning, but it's all one piece. It's interesting. It's just how you grip this. It makes you tune it slower. I find that kind of interesting. Interesting tuning knob. It's got a built in handle, liking that. Back of the radio, we have our antenna for the shortwave and FM. It just swivels in one direction. On the back here you can see Prunus J15. Uh, you get the information again for the band and it runs on 3D cell batteries, vented case, and also runs on AC. They do supply the appliance cord for it. So yeah, 3D cell batteries. I'll show you the battery compartment. Pretty easy to get into. I'm using EBL rechargeables. They work great in here. All the positives are facing to the left hand side of the radio. Pretty cool. All right, simple setup, easy to get those in and out. Not bad, expect about a couple hundred hours of runtime, definitely with these high capacity batteries. That's a big bonus with these ones. Double A batteries just don't last as long, but with the D cells, they're awesome. So let's go ahead and uh, do a size comparison real quick. We have CC Pocket in the house, almost matches color, I like that. <laughs> uh, current time is 10.13 p.m. Uh, Central Daylight Time, near Chicago, Illinois, USA. Next we have Skywave SSB, single sideband portable radio that does everything, to give you an idea. And then uh, last but not least, I think I have some playing cards hanging around. Here we go, Iron Man, he's the man with the master plan. He can spin it like no one can. He loves prunuses from China land. He's Iron Man. You know it. <laughs> yeah, Prunus does a great job with their radios. I'm really impressed. So let's go ahead and turn it on and hear what we hear tonight. See if we can find distant stations. I do have a Turk Advantage loop handy. I don't know if we'll need it. Uh, here we go. Passive loop. It's free power, free gain. Usually put it right here next to the radio. The antenna is somewhere here, the internal antenna. And uh, maybe we can tune in stations a little distant with this one. But we may not need it. Usually during the day it's more usable. So let's go ahead and turn the radio on here. Start at the bottom of the band. I might be done. And I walk to the backfield. And there's one. Okay, selectivity. So we can't pick up 540. I picked up 560 right away. So it's DSP radio, you can hear it clicking. Okay, 
Okay, here's 540 WAUK, Jackson, Wisconsin. 70 miles away, 400 watts at night. Um, this DSP is a little trickier to tune, but it can be rewarding if you spend a little time with it. Pop along. What are you doing sitting on a park bench with nobody there? Wearing a mask. Here's 560 WIND Chicago. Local. Wake up, America. Why did that monologue go? Got so much this guy. I think I'll post that one. That was fun. That's how every show should kick off, in my humble opinion. Only purchases of four ninety nine or more, and they'll remove your old mattress as well. Shop Monday through Saturday, ten a.m. to six p.m. For Let's personalized see shopping, call the book my SkyWave to Sunday, check. Closed to be with family. Tell them Jeff Wagner sent you to Built Right, fifty fourth and Layton in Greenfield. We did the math. When you buy bag molds from the big guys, you pay fifty bucks a yard. Why pay more for inferior molds? When you buy from Ericsson, you'll get premium molds for almost half the cost. And you'll see that even our economy mulch is better for less than half the cost of bag mulch. And either choice is made with premium colorants that last longer. Ah, <laughs> oh, that's pretty funny. Mulch commercial. You guys are waiting for I figure this out. WTMJ, Milwaukee, Wisconsin. I should have figured that out. 52 miles away, uh, 10,000 watt station. Now, I noticed tonight's a pretty tough night. Um, the Skywave was also having trouble picking up some stations. So yeah, uh, definitely. But yeah, you can hear uh, this radio does like to latch on the stronger stations. High quality moss and stone for a whole lot less. Commercial or residential, visit ericksonslandscapesupply.com to see our entire selection. Brewers Extra Hitting with Matt Pauly and WTMJ. This is Shaw. Okay, are we still on 620? Oh, 6.30. Cool. So this is country music out of, uh, turn it down, don't want to hover on the music, CFCO, Chatham, Ontario, 310 miles, 6,000 watts. Not bad, you know, uh, that's a good station. It's coming in clear. Usually it comes in kind of crappy uh, and hard to receive, but tonight it's coming in nice. education for all employees. We'll help your employees get the most out of the bottle, do your magic one more time. There we go. Uh, 650 WSM, Nashville, Tennessee, 434 miles. Yeah, you can see how it latched right onto 670 there. It bounced from 630 all the way to 670. So with this radio, it's going to be a little bit of fun trying to get those distance stations at night, but it, it could be enjoyable. You can have some fun with this. Old Dominion, helping the world keep promises. Major League Baseball trademarks used with permission. Here's 670, 670 to score, WSCR, Chicago, Illinois, home of the Cubs. We talking B1 with nature in the desert, Rogue? Go snowshoeing in Alaska, Rogue. Miss out on strike. Brian Reynolds, six strikeouts for Miley tonight. Wade Miley was good. He was good tonight. You heard it. Uh, yeah, a few steps at the same station there. This is 700 WLW, Cincinnati, Ohio, 300 miles. KelseyShub.com will get the Miley doubting in just a second. Let's get to Indiana. I think he's driving back from the game. Patrick. That's blocked. And the other way come the Hawks. Kane hustling and got the puck over the Stars line right wing. Saucer pass in front of the dock. He shoots. He scores. Oh, oh, can't turn that down. A shelf goal for Kirby Knox. His first of the season off of a sweet feed from Patrick Kane. And the Hawks take a one nothing lead on the Stars. All right. Black Hawks playing on the... We got WGN 720, Chicago. The secondary assist on that one. 
as the Hawks took a one nothing lead into the first intermission after outshooting the Stars by a 10 to 9 count, but largely controlling. Oh, it was a playback. <laughs> I thought it was live. That's funny. When uh, Jason Robertson went to the box on a hooking call, uh, Hawks missed out on their first power play. <laughs> That sounded good. CFZM, 740 Toronto, Ontario, 460 miles. Not bad. Uh, always good music playing. And I knew our job. How's the temperature? It's a refreshing 52 degrees, man. Perfect for a little riverside. Here's uh, WGR Detroit, Michigan, 760. Uh, 270 miles. I don't think I'll get 750 between those two strong stations. Let's see. During the day, scare the kids at night. Perfect. I love my job. Uh, Oak Tree? Uh, still in the same place I left you last year. That's what I like. Consistency. Well, it's not like I'm going... I'm Brian Cooley, News Radio 780 and 105.9. I'll sleep the night before our meeting. Okay. Squirrel, has anybody seen Mr. Squirrel? Yeah. The forest has been preparing just for you. Visit a forest near you today. Okay, to learn more about the cool things to do in the forest, visit discovertheforest.org. Brought to you by the U.S. Forest Service and the Ad Council. If you're worried about your hard-earned dollars becoming worth it, I heard you. I heard 780, WBBM, <laughs> but this is now 760 is still. To to uh, no, not able not to gold find gold. Uh, 750 to BSB Atlanta, but this is WJR Detroit, Michigan. Uh, next station was 780, WBBM Oxford Chicago. Gold. The Oxford Gold Group will teach you everything that you can depend on them doing an awesome job. In addition, you can depend on them listening to you. It's a pretty good radio for like locking on strong and semi low, you know, strong stations nearby and strong distance stations. Um, you can expect that. So right now we're on 780 WBBM Chicago. Megapros.com. One mega call does it all. You know what it takes to run a business, and at 50... To help you efficiently manage that the term hold is there, that means that team priority will continue to go to those the problem teams. See things they have? Well, our friends have currently called for people to be vaccinated based on age and risk. Including the most vulnerable and elderly. Provincial hotspots, which include Windsor Essex and high priority. This is our Canadian station, CKLW, Windsor, Ontario, 270 miles. Nice. Probably 820. There's a lot of mixing there, so it's very difficult to pick up. Yeah, there are two mixing stations. One's WBAP, Fort Worth, Texas, and the other's local WCPT, Joliet, Illinois. The Fort Worth, Texas one, I think, is a gentleman talking. That's 810 miles away. Or wherever you get your podcast. We can do this. The news can change in an instant. Check in three, four, five times a day for continual updates. Don't let the American people see what's going on here. On News Radio 840, WHAS. Okay, so they have Ground Zero on WHAS uh, 840 AM, uh, and they also have Coast to Coast in the evenings. I wasn't able to get the uh, WCCO 830. Let's see if we can get that. It's a relatively new thing that, uh, of course, is uh, em emerged on the blockchain and Sounds like it's too faint to try, so we'll just keep going. Well, I think that, uh, you know, certainly they've gone outside of the system. But that being said, I, I think actually what we have here in a scene is something that is actually more compliant than what you see with QuickBooks. You now have access to the surprising affordability of purchasing a whole or half beat without the need for additional freezer space or large cash outlay. Pricing is locked in, and you only pay when your subscription box ships every six weeks. At Eastern Montana Beach, you'll also find individual cuts 
Like ribeye, sirloin, New York, brisket, roast, and more. <laughs> There's our 830 WCCO, Minneapolis, Minnesota, 310 miles. You know, what the heck? <laughs> I love this, trying to figure this out. That's the joy of tuning in DSP. RBScorp.com Hey baseball fans, at the convenience stores of Speedway, you'll always find great food and beverage choices. Everything you need to fuel your life on the go on game day or any day. With a great selection of hot and cold beverages, energy drinks, pastries, and everything else you need. So here's a strong station coming out in New York, uh, WCBS 880, uh, 750 miles. Uh, interesting that it just latched onto this and we missed 860 Like uh, stock and just like different kinds of things, it's all based on the value. And he doesn't get credit for all these things that he did. It sickens me how Joe Biden literally gets away with Okay, her. so we uh, are jumping all over the place. <laughs> the joys of an inexpensive DSP receiver, uh, 890 WLS Chicago. So if you have this radio and you don't have something like this to check it, um, just uh, listen to the station for a while. Maybe do a little log or something. And, uh, yeah, you'll figure it out eventually. <laughs> and that he wanted to change the way the Middle East functions. And he succeeded. He's <laughs> wow. I think we're just picking up 900 here. Maybe not. This might be 910. Might be Detroit, Michigan, WFDF. We'll keep going. That's going to be hard getting single stations out of this thing here. This has pretty good reception. Um, I did take this radio apart. It has a decent size ferrite antenna in there for the medium wave, re medium wave reception. This is a uh, 960, I think it's WSBT, South Bend, Indiana, 110 miles away, 5,000 watts. of a lead by Mercedes, a pitch to Vaughn is a strike on a curve. And the way I always look at the game of baseball is there are certain things you can't control as an individual and leading off with how hard you run and how hard you play, that's, that's up to you. At so all. here we go, 1000 WMVP, Chicago, Illinois. Something that you can control by putting the work in and just giving yourself the best chance to prepare. Vaughn out in the right center, there's his first major league hit, it's going to get to the wall. Mercedes racing to third. Recruiter, find you what you're looking for. The needle in the haystack. See why four out of five employers who talk to John and Zip Recruiter get a quality candidate within the first day. Zip Recruiter. Here's a 1020 KDKA, Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, 450 miles. That's right. Free at ZipRecruiter.com slash hire. That's ZipRecruiter.com. You can see the we're going to mix the stations KYW Philadelphia Pennsylvania 700 miles that must be that 103.9 FM they advertised to. Um, so yeah, a bunch of stations kind of running over each other. 
But pretty cool we picked it up. Our top story at over the next few weeks, Philadelphia will try to make the highest risk essential workers and anyone over 65 vaccinated so they don't get any more <laughs> We're still on 1060. <laughs> Keep going. People who are in the 20s and 30s are COVID 19, immunity in our community. We'll hear from Americans on the front lines. Oh, they rhymed that. <laughs> Yeah, I guess whatever it takes, right? Um, 1100, I think it's a WTAM, Cleveland, Cleveland, Ohio. Let's check it. On the iHeartRadio app or wherever you get your podcasts. Wherever you get your podcasts. Did you guys listen to podcasts? No, I listen to radio. <laughs> I don't know. You guys might listen to them. I just, eh, I tried and eh, it can get kind of boring. Uh, 1100 WTAM, Cleveland, Ohio, 345 miles. As you can tell, the atmosphere is unsteady. We got some must be some severe storms coming in our area. will give you 50% off every style window, plus zero percent interest. You send us your prayer request, and we will pray for you too, because we, that's what we do, it. and we do it anyhow. On the people that support this ministry, I get so many letters. Okay, this should be a local 1160. I'm just going to guess here. Jumped up. I ask the good Lord to bless. Yep, W-Y-L-L. Hope for your life, Christian Radio. And so, I thank you so much because, boy, can we, we could use your prayers. You wouldn't believe how many out there that don't want <laughs> Okay, so we got 1180. Uh, this is WHAM, Rochester, New York, 545 miles from me. The lower tone from the speaker is nice. kind of takes the harshness out of the uh, static uh, noise floor that this radio is experiencing with these conditions. It's not doing you any favors that for sure, and good sleep is so very important. Just as important as eating right and exercising for good health. The answer Dial's is fairly is accurate. Okay, he said Dayton, which is cool, so I think it's 1290. Very cool, so yeah, 1290. Um, Dayton, Ohio, this is WHIO, 280 miles, nice. I loved it, and you will too. So go to Amazon right now and enter bigger than basketball and buy a copy of your. You go to Amazon right now and uh, check out the link below, Prunus J15. Get yourself one of these. <laughs> awesome. It's just a, a great little radio. I like this radio a lot. And a lot of you, like, I'm sure, like the fact that it has shortwave bands, too. That actually are workable. Of 
Okay, we're 14.20. The dial's helping me there. Uh, WOC, Davenport, Iowa, 131 miles, 5,000 watts. videos, music albums, and more. Anything that exists online can be purchased as an NFT, theoretically. An NFT is a type of cryptographic token. Uh, NFTs are different from cryptocurrencies because they're not interchangeable. And WMBD, Peoria, Illinois, 135 miles, 5,000 watts. They host the Ground Zero on Coast to Coast in the evenings, too. So if WHAS on 840 isn't coming in well, sometimes I'll tune to this station. If this wasn't tuning well, then I'll try to find it somewhere else on the dial. Because Coast to Coast, you know, is everywhere. <laughs> if you guys listen to it, I'm not sure you should post below if you guys listen to Coast to Coast. Let me know. If you made it this far in the video, I'm sure you guys are radio enthusiasts. They were a token company as well. Hope you are. And, but I didn't know anything about non-fungible token. Now, why would I want to own an NFT? Can I make money on it? We're learning more and more about that. Vegetables are going to be your best bet. Okay, this is a no-brainer. WLAC 1510, Nashville, Tennessee. 434 miles. This time of night, they're always talking a health show. Talking about nutrition. I that I was going to be challenged every day, so that's why I committed here. And, you know, I think I, I, I'm going off the top of my head here. I'd say probably half of your top eight guys. 1530, this is WCKY, Cincinnati, Ohio, 300 miles. come together and gel like that. A little bit of a tone there on 1540. Yeah, 1540's KXEL, uh, Waterloo, Iowa, 210 miles. I think it's the radio generating that, the DSP. I think I was picking up on this radio too. Okay, I think the music is 1610. I'll just check real quick here. We're almost done. Yep, 1610 is CHHA, Toronto, Ontario. Again, 460 miles. Nice. Crashville. The cost is loaded, the kids were ready, and the boat was ready for the trip. 1630 KCJJ, Iowa City, Iowa. 175 miles, 1,000 watts. It's pretty funny how they have these commercials. Get a kick out of them. Hammer top of the dial. I didn't pick up 1,700. There it is. It's barely coming in on the Skywave, too. This is KBGG, 
Des Moines, Iowa, 280 miles. Again, I think we got some big storms coming in from the west. And they are west of me. Okay, let's turn this off. So yeah, the Prunus J15. Not too bad. Um, not fantastic, of course. It's not like a Sea Crane uh, EP Pro, <laughs> where you know exactly where you're at in the dial. You could do a blindfold. Um, that has excellent selectivity if you're looking for a radio that's like awesome on AM. You know, pick yourself up one of those, but you're going to spend like, I don't know, what are those, like 90 bucks plus shipping? So yeah, this is your like sub $30 radio, plus you have, uh, you got your DC power, 3D cells, and you have the AC cord. That's pretty important. AC right in there and off you go. And you got shortwave, you know, the EP Pro doesn't have shortwave, so you got that capability. A lot of people like to listen to shortwave broadcast, even to this day, like to have the radio to have it, and this one does have it. I think that's pretty amazing. And then, of course... You get a little flashlight if you need it, just for emergencies. Uh, so just all around, great radio, loving it. <laughs> did pretty good tonight. I'm going to give it like a B, B minus. It did okay. Um, yeah, maybe a C plus. Eh, B minus. It, it did fairly well. It just took a little time. DSPs are finicky like that. It reminds me of some others that are similar. It's got this interesting tuning knob. A little, little wheel in the middle. It's pretty funny. It works out good, though. So there it is, the Prunus J15 during the night. Hope you guys liked it. Give me a big like if you did. Two, if you like Prunus radios and want to see more band scans, you want to see more reviews, hit subscribe. Hit that bell icon. Definitely hit that bell icon after you subscribe because I post deals. Sometimes these companies put these on sale or they'll send me an offer and tell, tell me to put it up for you guys. And uh, you might save a bunch of money. And if you didn't have that bell icon clicked, you would have missed out. So definitely hit that. Uh, you'd be very impressed because uh, I'm always active looking for deals. And you guys know that who are subscribed with the bell icon. Hit. And three, comment below what you think about the Prunus J15. Is this a radio for you? Or do you have another one you like that you want to see me feature that I haven't uh, brought on the channel? Let me know. I do need some ideas. If you know a new a new radio like this that can compete and I haven't reviewed it, put it down below and I'll try to pick it up. All right, guys. Take care. And we'll see you, all of you, in my next video.